A pleasure to meet y'all at last, and welcome back to Hot Wheels Hilarity. Here we got ourselves yet another pretty exciting colossal clash. Because this time, this was a pretty big project I have pretty much held back for some time. And yet, here we are. This is a custom 10 lane raceway that would pretty much outclass the Hot Wheels Super 6 lane raceway at any given point. And this is because this was a custom project that I did myself. And I spent at least a month and a half preparing for something like this. So here we got ourselves seven teams in seven different colors that'll race on this custom expanding 10 lane raceway. With 10 lanes of track, let's see how many winners we can get to represent each of these colors. We got ourselves seven colors and 10 racers in total. This would in turn make 70 racers total. So in a pinch, this might be a very exciting series of races that'll take place. We got ourselves a white team. Here we have an orange team of cars. Here's a team of black cars. Here's a team of cars representing the color green. Here's some colors in gray slash silver. Here we have a group of 10 cars representing the yellow color. And finally, we have ourselves 10 colors with chrome. Nice and shiny, that is. We're going to start ourselves with the yellow team. So from left to right, lanes 1 through 10, we have the Volkswagen Golf GTI, ground effects, the 17 Ford F-150 Raptor, the old, the old 442 W30, turbine time, let's go, ice shredder, speed dozer, Ultra Rage, and so fast. To start off, we have ground effects making it to the second round of this competition. We'll need four more racers to advance to the next round, representing the yellow team. So fast decides to join up with ground effects into the next round. We got ourselves eight more racers. We have Speed Dozer, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, Ultra Rage, Let's Go, the 17 Ford 50 F, the 17 Ford F-150 Raptor, the old 442 W30, Ice Shredder, and Turbine Time. Volkswagen Golf GTI makes it into the next round. Here we have seven racers still fighting for two more positions. If you haven't already noticed, the 17 Ford F-150 Raptor is a little too wide for this track and that is why it happens to be going very slow sometimes. Here we have Ultra Rage that manages to get into the second round. Here we have six cars fighting for one last position for the yellow team to go into the second round. And Ice Shredder decides that it wants to get into the second round. You can see it has skinny wheels, but wow, I did not know that Ice Shredder could pull something off like that. We'll set the other five racers from the yellow team over here on this side of the track, and they can watch the rest of the races take place. Moving on to the green team, from left to right, we have Medieval, the 2009 Corvette ZR1, Rapid Responder, HW Rapid Responder, the Lamborghini Veneno, the Embosser, the Tune 69 Camaro Z28, 
the 32 Ford, the 57 Plymouth Fury, Rolling Thunder, and Super Nat. The 2009 Corvette ZR1 makes it to the finish. Here we have nine racers that are going to fight for four more positions to gain into the next round. And now the Lamborghini Veneno decides to get into the second round. Here we have ourselves eight more racers to go. Medieval makes it to the very end, and it'll go alongside with the Venino and the Corvette. Here we have ourselves seven more racers to go. Rolling Thunder, an Accelerator's model, manages to make it into the second round. There's only six more racers left. We have the Tune 69 Camaro Z28, the 57 Plymouth Fury, the 32 Ford, Super Nat, HW Rapid Responder, and the Embosser. And lastly, we have ourselves Super Nat getting into the second round. We'll set the other five racers of the green team here on the sidelines and they can watch the rest of the competition take place. Now we have the chrome team ready to race. From left to right lanes 1 through 10 we have high tech missile, blitz speeder, speed slayer, repo duty, gazella gt, Iridium, Vandetta, Faradox, Tomb Up, and Rig Heat. The first car that we have to advance for the Chrome team is Repo Duty. And we're going to set it alongside here. We're going to have four winners advance. Nine more racers left to go. And we're going to find out which other four will join up alongside with Repo Duty. To join up alongside Repo Duty, we have ourselves Blitz Speeder. We have eight more racers left that will fight for three more positions into the second round. Here we are. We got ourselves Gazella GT that advances. We got seven more racers left to go. From left to right, we got ourselves Rig Heat, Vendetta, Speed Slayer, Tomb Up, Iridium, Faradox, and High Tech Missile. And it looks like we have ourselves Speed Slayer heading to the second round. There are still six more racers that we have left to determine who will be advancing to the second round along with the other four. Finally, for the Chrome team, we got ourselves member number five advancing to the second round, Faradox. As for the other five, including High Tech Missile, Tomb Up, Iridium, and Rig Heat, 
we got ourselves these five heading to the sidelines along with all the other teams that had just started their races for round one. Now we're going to move on to the black team. From left to right we got ourselves an older model which is known as Red Baron. Then we have Aeroblast, Dual Fueler, the 1999 Ford Mustang, Super Tsunami, the 1985 Honda CRX, Bot Wheels, Amazoom, Z-Rod, and Silver Bullet on the right side. The first member from the black team that's advancing is the 1999 Ford Mustang. Here we have the other nine racers that are going to fight for four more positions that will advance them to the second round. We got ourselves a second member advancing and it's Silver Bullet. I never thought that this one would win. So, we got ourselves eight more racers. We got ourselves Aeroblast, Amazoom, Z-Rod, Red Baron, a Honda CRX, Dual Fueler, Super Tsunami, and Bot Wheels. Here we got ourselves a third member. It's Z-Rod that advances to round two. There are still seven more racers that we have left to advance to round two as well. Let's find out which one it is in this race. And it looks like our fourth member of the black team is Super Tsunami that will advance to round two. Six more racers of the black team are still fighting for one last position that will advance five members to the second round. And there you go. We got ourselves Dual Fueler that manages to squeeze in at the last minute. Whereas for the other five, including Red Baron and Amazoom, well, we'll see you then. Now we're going to move on to the white team. So lanes 1 through 10, left to right, we have Fast Fortress, Mock Speeder, the Custom 53 Chevy, the Porsche 917, Rail Rodder, Golden Arrow, the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon, the 12 Ford Fiesta, Terrain Storm, and the Lamborghini Murcielago. As with the 17 Ford F-150 Raptor, Terrain Storm seems a little too wide for the track and therefore tends to drag on the sidewalls of the tracks. But our first winner from the white team is the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon. We have ourselves nine racers that will fight for four spots, and five of those will move on to the second round. So we have winner number two, and this is the Custom 53 Chevy. So we got ourselves three more chances for these other racers. Here we have our third winner from the white team and it's the 12 Ford Fiesta. Seven racers to go and we have ourselves the Lamborghini Mercilago, the Porsche 917, the Golden Arrow, Mock Speeder, Terrain Storm, Fast Fortress, 
and rail rotter. Here we got ourselves a fourth winner and it's Mock Speeder. So we have one last chance to have one last racer advance from the white team to move on to round two. And I'm sure that many people would be excited to see the Porsche 917 make it to round two. As for Rail Rotter and all of the elders from the white team, they will be sitting right here on the sidelines watching the rest of the competition take place. Next up is the orange team and so from left to right we have ourselves the 57 Ford Thunderbird, the Bugatti Quera, the 2006 Dodge Charger SRT8, Rally Cat, Lancia Stratus, McLaren 720S, Backdrafter, Barbaric, Clear Speeder, and Impavito 1. Already we got ourselves Barbaric that manages to make it to the second round and I'm gonna move the white team over here to go behind the, all the members of the orange team. There's a little organization that I'm gonna have for the camera's view. But anyways, Barbaric is the first one to move on to round two. And we got ourselves nine more racers from the orange team that will determine which other four will be able to make it to round two. Here we got ourselves another orange member to pass. And it's the McLaren 720S. We got eight more racers left to go, including Backdrafter and the Dodge Charger SRT8. And I'm sure that many people would like to see Clear Speeder do well in the future. We got ourselves two more racers that will have to advance to round two. So we got member number four to advance, and it's Rally Cat. We got ourselves a last chance from Impovito 1, the Dodge Charger SRT8, Pagani Quera, the 57 Ford Thunderbird, Valencia Stratus, and Backdrafter. And lastly, we got ourselves the 57 Ford Thunderbird to advance to round 2 along with all the other four members of the Orange team that passed. As for Impavito 1, the Lancio Stratos, the Pagani Quera, Backdrafter, and the Dodge Charger SRT8, they'll be sitting in the sidelines right here. And here we go. We got ourselves the gray slash silver team from left to right, lanes 1 through 10. We have ourselves the Mazda RX-7, Rocket Box, Mad Splash, Nightburner, Driftsta, Altered Ego, Gazella R, Tesla Model X, T. Gray, and Street Wiener. Here we got ourselves our first member to advance to the second round, and it's the Tesla Model X. Nine more racers will have to fight for four more spots to advance to round two. And here we go. To come up alongside with the Tesla Model X, we got ourselves T-Gray. And T-Gray is a pretty darn good track car. 
we got ourselves three more spots that are open. And all these racers, including Driftsta, Mad Splash, the Mazda RX-7, and Rocketbox, still have chances to advance. Here we have member number three, and it's Mad Splash. I really like this model. We got two more chances to come from these seven racers, and let's see which two will advance. It looks like member number four to advance for the grade team is... We got ourselves our last chance for Street Wiener, Driftsta, Rocketbox, Nightburner, Gazella R, or the Mazda RX-7 to advance to round two. And here we go, Gazella R makes it to round two. As for the other five members of the grade team, we got them sitting alongside the sidelines along with all the other teams that have not had any other members pass. And so here we go. We got ourselves all the racers we'll need to advance to round two, and I'll be right back with some configurations. And welcome back. We got ourselves five sets of seven cars in total. In total there are 35 racers that have managed to make it to round two of this competition and we got ourselves plenty of excitement to come on through so without further ado let's get started. We're gonna start off with this group of racers from left to right we have Rally Cat, Dual Fueler, Rolling Thunder, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, Porsche 917, Repo Duty, and the Gazella R. Car number one that manages to make it to round three is Dual Fueler. We're going to have two more racers that will advance to round three from each group. And it looks like Repo Duty decides to join up with Dual Fueler to advance to round three. We got ourselves another chance for the Porsche 917, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, Rally Cat, Gazella R, and Rolling Thunder. And to score up that last chance, it was one last opportunity for the Volkswagen Golf GTI. And the other four that came from that group, including the Porsche 917 and the Gazella R, they're just going to have to sit on this side of the track to watch the rest take place. Here we have group number two, which has Medieval, Clear Speeder, Mock Speeder, the 1999 Ford Mustang, Ground Effects, Faradox, and Mad Splash. So, here we have car number four that's advancing to round three, and it's the 1999 Mustang. We're going to have two more spots open for this group, so here we go. Here we got member number two from that group of racers, it's Ground Effects. We got one more chance for Mad Splash, Faradox, Clear Speeder, Medieval, or Mock Speeder. And lastly, we got ourselves a third car from that group, and it's Clear Speeder that advances. Whereas, 
with all the other four cars from that group, including Mad Splash, they're going to have to sit on the sidelines along with these other four cars from the previous group. Here comes group number three, and it's Z-Rod, Barbaric, the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon, Lamborghini Veneno, Altered Ego, So Fast, and Blitz Speeder. So, here we got ourselves a seventh car to advance to round three, and it's Barbaric. There's two more chances we have for all six of these racers. So, here we got ourselves the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon to pass. One more chance is going to remain for any of these five racers. And finally, from that group, we got ourselves our third car, and it's the Lamborghini Veneno. As for all of the others, including Blitzspeeder and Altered Ego, they're just going to have to sit right here on the side of the track to watch everything else take place. At least they did their best. Now, for this group, we got ourselves Ice Shredder, the 12 Ford Fiesta, T Gray, Speed Slayer, the 2009 Corvette ZR1, Super Tsunami, and the McLaren 720S. Our first car to come from that group is the Corvette ZR1. Six more racers we got here, but only two more are going to advance. Here we have car number two to come from that group, and it's Speed Slayer. One last chance remains for the 12 Ford Fiesta, Ice Shredder, McLaren 720S, Tigre, and the Super Tsunami. Finally, we got our third racer to come from that group, and it's the McLaren 720S. The other four did their best, but... It's too bad they're just going to have to sit on the side here and watch the rest of the races take place. I was still surprised at how far Ice Shredder managed to get. Here we got ourselves another group. It's Super Nat, Gazella GT, the Custom 53 Chevy, the 57 Thunderbird, Tesla Model X, Ultra Rage, and Silver Bullet. Our first member to come from that group is the Tesla Model X. Six more racers are still in the group. Only two more, though, will advance to round three. So, here's our second member from that group, and it's Silver Bullet. One more racer will advance to round three along with all of the others that will be advancing. And last but not least, we have Ultra Rage going to round three. And of course, just like all the other racers that are sitting on the side of the track, the Custom 53 Chevy, Gazella GT, the 57 Thunderbird, and Super Nat will all have to sit over here. And we're back. We got ourselves three teams of five cars representing every one of the colors that we have of all seven teams. In total, we got 15 racers that are still left in the competition. 
we're going to wiggle it down even more and have only two members from each of these groups advance. Group number one includes Repo Duty, the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon, Dual Fueler, the Volkswagen Golf GTI, and the Lamborghini Veneno. Our first member to advance to the next round is the Lamborghini Veneno. Group 1 still has four more racers left, but only one will advance to the next round. And it looks like Repo Duty is going to be moving on to the next round along with the Lamborghini Veneno. So, here we are. We got ourselves the other three racers, including the 64 Chevrolet Nova Wagon, to sit on this side of the track to watch everything else take place. And with the Nova Wagon out, the whole white team has been eliminated from the competition. Now we're going to have group number two start racing the fight for two positions to move on to round four. We have Ground Effects, Clear Speeder, 2009 Corvette ZR1, the 1999 Mustang, and Speed Slayer. From the second group, we have ourselves our first car from that group. It's the 99 Ford Mustang. One more chance remains for one of these four racers to advance to round four. And so, from the second group, we got ourselves the 2009 Corvette ZR1 that will be moving on to round four along with all of the others. As for the other three racers that we got from that group, including Speed Slayer and Clear Speeder, they're just going to have to sit on the side of the track along with the other three from the last group. And finally, we got ourselves group number three. We got ourselves the McLaren 720S, Barbaric, Tesla Model X, Ultra Rage, and Silver Bullet. I feel very excited right now because the McLaren 720S has already made some really good progress in this competition. There's one more spot that remains for any one of these four racers to advance to round four. And here we go. We got one member of the yellow team to advance to the next round, and it's Ultra Rage. However, though, sorry for the gray team, but as it turns out, their very last member, the Tesla Model X, manages to fail. And so that means the Tesla Model X and its team, the gray team, is completely eliminated from the competition. Now we're going to take all six of these racers and we're going to wiggle it down to six total podium positions. And there you have it. We got ourselves the Corvette ZR1 that wins in first place. Let's see how well the other five can manage to get positions second through sixth. The car that manages to take second place is Ultra Rage. I'm going to pair it up with the Corvette CR1. Because now we got four more racers left to fight for positions third through sixth. And it looks like the 1999 Ford Mustang manages to win third place. Three cars remaining. Positions fourth through six will be found depending on which car manages to succeed in each of these remaining races. All right.
right then, it looks like we have ourselves Repo Duty that manages to succeed in getting fourth place. There's two cars remaining with the stakes raised as they are both supercars. And there you have it. For fifth place, we have the Lamborghini Veneno, and for sixth place, we have the McLaren 720S. So that is it. The Corvette Zero One is in first place, the McLaren 720S ends up in sixth place, and all of the others sit on the sidelines of the track. But anyways, though, that is pretty much it for right now. And so I hope you enjoyed this big endeavor of a project that I had here with a custom 10-lane raceway and plenty of cars with seven teams total to fight for positions first through six of this mega monster sized project.